Hey everybody, uh, Lee here down at the bluff. Man, it's been a long time since we made a video. August, September, sometime eight, nine months. Well, too long, way too long. Uh, had one of the main reasons, not really a good excuse, but that's why a, a videographer, our, uh, the Minner Skinner, she has decided to go back to work. And, uh, man, we work totally opposite schedules now. Uh, I've changed my work schedule. I work weekends. And then she works uh, Monday through Thursday. I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But it's working out. Uh, not so much for video making. But we've done, uh, we got into a few different things here out here this year um, a lot going on with the bees we had uh, early swarm well I say early probably middle of March middle of March about yeah maybe a couple six weeks or so ago and we had built a top bar uh, nuke something else we want to try this year is getting uh, doing some uh, top bar beacon top bar beekeeping and uh, this is a uh, this is a picture of the box, the uh, the nuke box we built last year for that, and uh, was actually lucky enough lucky enough to apprehend one of our swarms that come out of it. So I left them up there. I left them up there in the tree. Had a bi old bicycle rack there. Had them wrapped up in the tree with it, setting up on it. And I, I had set this thing out as a swarm trap. To hopefully catch a wild swarm in but uh, as I was leaving to go to work one afternoon uh, there were bees on a, on a little post where there's some uh, electrical electrical uh, power uh, power source and uh, I said wow that's a swarm and I thought wow that's probably my swarm swarm so we uh, transferred them last week into this top bar hive we built uh, and let me tell you what I did with these bars is there's one of the old ones that one of the first ones that I built for this uh, swarm trap slash nuke and I built this thing uh, I'm gonna take you I'm gonna see if we can look in here have a look in here oh their bees are in there there's bees in there I built a follower board for this thing I'm not going to be able to show you a whole lot but there's a glimpse if I get out of the way down of, in the inside of it these guys have about uh, they had uh, let's see they had about eight going on nine of these uh, bars what these are I just built this out of some uh, exterior plywood I had Cut a little slit down, popsicle, put some popsicle stitch sticks in there, and coated it. Coated them with uh, beeswax. And let me tell you, they built that. They built that foundation out really, really quick. I mean, within a week or so, maybe two weeks, we had ten. We had. Well, there's all the ones we had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They were working on a ninth, and I kind of messed it up when I put them in the box here. I'm not going to be able to show you any any in hive, any inspections or anything like that today because I got one hand and no tripod. Here's something else we started this year. We got these little girls and boys about, uh, see they're going on eight weeks old now. Right, chickens. So we've got, uh, we bought 18, 15 of these little suckers. They are barred rock chickens. They're a dual purpose. You see over there, there I put a little shade, sunshade up for them so they don't get uh, too hot out here. And uh, take a look over there at the coop we built. We actually bought this coop uh, made in China. So, you know, I'll be happy if it holds up a year, uh, maybe two. But we got 18 of these birds. There's a little, uh, built that as a, a mini tractor, but I had it hooked up. I just bucked, butted up to the coop because like I say there's 18 birds there um, Plymouth barred rocks 
which is a uh, a dual purpose breed <coughs> and usually they'll come running after me they'll come running out to me there's one of the roosters right there we ended up with nine roosters here he comes hey big boy hey big boy what you doing we ended up with nine roosters cockerels whatever you want to call them and um, nine hens <coughs> so they're gonna be uh, I think we're gonna call out call out some of the boys and uh, we're gonna keep seven or eight of the girls and we're gonna uh, you know one one or two of the girls and um, yeah they'll go in the, they'll go to freezer camp but there's a here's a good glimpse of the, uh, the little chicken yard we got going um, this is electric poultry netting we do have predators down here we've got aerial predators we got hawks bald eagle osprey um, we got uh, coyotes raccoons possums foxes uh, uh, bobcats I mean there's about uh, and uh, alligators alligators too I've already seen one in here this year so um, I don't know how well that fence is gonna keep out alligators but uh, We'll, uh, if it don't work out so good, we can, we can always make other arrangements for them. So back to the bees. Um, I'm not here, AC running in the, in the background over there. Back to the bees. We, uh, man, we are in the middle peak of the honey flow here. We've got, uh, we got five full-scale uh, production colonies here this year making honey and they are full um, I came in here two weeks ago and put out uh, pulled out between uh, about three of the three of the colonies here I pulled out 11 frames of capped honey and uh, due to crushing strain method I do not have an ex extractor so I really can't justify it for uh, the amount of hives we have right now, but I got me a press. So we're gonna we're actually gonna come in here today and uh, do a inspection of the supers. We do have queen excluders on; uh, those are single deeps. But when the flow ends, we're gonna let them eat up whatever they can, and we'll do a deep and a medium, just like we made it through winter. But they're all doing good. All the girls are handling their business. Uh, I had. There are two nukes I pulled out uh, the other day. I had two of them going, and one of them, I'm pretty sure, either failed to queen. Now, they had cells. They queened. One of them queened really nice and, and uh, began laying up immediately. So I just combined those combined those girls into a 10-frame. Uh, into a 10-frame. So we're going to let them ride out. Hopefully, they'll, uh, they'll get right. And uh, as soon as this flows over and we get our honey, we got to start making some queens because we all know. I tell you, we had a we had a uh, time with some queens last year. Uh, I don't know where the heat heat got them. I got them, but I am not. Uh, last check, all they were all laying had brood, so we're not messing. We're not going to do any deep dive hive inspections. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on the on the honey supers and uh we're gonna we're gonna uh try to keep them cleaned out and give them as much space and they will draw comb back out during the flow a few weeks ago and i cleaned those out those frames are already drawn back out and they're storing more honey so we're gonna go in there today gonna go back in there today and uh get some more we're gonna try to get some more out of them give them some more room and uh decided to plant a garden a legitimate garden we grown we grown in containers in the past just minimal uh tomato peppers cucumbers stuff like that but here's what we got us a we got us a little garden going now we uh got a couple of raised beds that i actually purchased these these two here so we got a pretty good mixture of uh cucumbers we got a couple japanese cucumbers in there red yellow and orange bell peppers we eat a lot of bell peppers that's uh that's squash we got back there in the back 
All these were bought as starter plants. We've got two varieties of tomatoes. We've got some cherry tomatoes. You can see them right through there, starting to get some. Uh, we're getting peppers coming up. Cherry tomatoes, and I have uh, two cherry tomatoes and two beefsteak tomatoes. So uh, over here, uh, let's see, it's been nine, nine or ten days ago. We got carrot, radishes, uh, okra. Got an okra plant in each one of these. Arugula spinach um some of it's come up good that uh we got some bib lettuce coming up uh so all that stuff you know maybe a couple months we'll be able to harvest some of that and replant it uh we got basically same thing over here we planted uh some more okra and bib lettuce i wish we would have done a little more spinach but maybe when we pull up some of this stuff toward the end of the year We'll have more spinach going. That's uh, more arugula. Uh, I can't remember the order I planted. I believe that's cilantro there. And then I got another spot here with uh, uh, oregano. Nah, not oregano. Cilantro. Uh, peppermint, actually. Peppermint. And uh, I believe that one right there has uh, basil coming up in it it looks i can't really tell if it's coming up or not we're gonna give all that a little bit more a little bit more time to come up and it doesn't start coming up we'll uh we'll do something else in there maybe replant some, plant some more seeds or try to get them started anyway also we built these two little beds now what i'm doing is a method called square foot gardening if y'all get a chance if you never heard of it check it out pretty neat way to grow a lot of food in small space there's uh books about it there's a few people on youtube doing some good videos on it so i thought we would give that a try this year now i built these two little beds here they are one by six just some extra we some we had laying around untreated of course do not use treated lumber to build your raised beds now they won't last they may last two seasons they may last who knows but do not use treated lumber in your raised beds um i got a friend that built some yesterday and i hope he's just doing uh house plants or something but do not use treated lumber if you can find cypress or cedar which i've been planning to do that for years but if you can't even find it now it's sky high i think a one by six one by six uh cedar is like 60 bucks so just something else food for thought there well we got watermelons you can see all our we got watermelons planted in there and we got uh cantaloupes in this one so hopefully we will get us some good uh good stuff this year and uh that's about all we got right now i'm just gonna pan around here just for a second and let you get an overall view of what's going on down here uh we're doing a lot in an awful small space our backyard oh man it's probably 40 feet from the back of the house to the tree line there and we can't do we can't do anything out there that is all wetland that's all wetland out there we can't uh we can't we have cut some of that i cut a little bit i'm gonna cut a little bit more um of the uh little skinnier trees and lead the big pines and maybe we can make some kind of use out of that but we don't have a lot of room here y'all uh, we're real skinny in the back and our property is sort of pie shaped in out front so we don't really have a lot of room back here um, don't really have any ordinances or HOA or nothing like that to worry about with uh, as far as what we want to do around here but we still kind of want to respect the neighborhood and everybody and not have our little uh, all our farm out front here but there's a shot one last shot of the of the uh chicken yard there and uh we're gonna go ahead and get suited up it's getting about it's getting about time where we can uh get in the colonies there see what kind of honey we're gonna we're gonna take some today and extract it or i should say crush and stir press it i bought i got a press um it's like a wine slash fruit type press uh we're gonna see what we get out of that and uh We'll get some of that. We'll take some footage of that uh, in action, and uh, we'll let you know what we come up with. Hey, I know it's been a long time. I was hoping not to make this video so long, but uh, it is what it is. So 
I'm gonna go get suited up, get in the get in the hives out here and see if uh see if we can get some honey out and uh make some room for these two girls. For these girls, two girls, five girls, five, six girls, however many there are back there. But we'll let you go for now and uh we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>